Hey, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. We are vlogging for a couple of days. South by Southwest is still going on here in Austin. And then on Thursday, I'm heading to Nashville. So I'll definitely do a separate vlog for then. Um, but it is Monday. I had a grad shoot this morning. I'm currently uploading the photos. And I showered, washed my hair. And I am about to head out to hotel proper because I was invited by Clarence to get a facial. And I'm so pumped, mostly because I really, really want to restock on one of their serums. I think it might be called the double serum. I'm not even entirely sure, but I use the whole thing and I have like literally two drops left. So very perfect timing. I'm hoping that they sent me home with a little goodie bag. Um, and obviously I'm pumped about a facial. I've actually been wanting a facial for a really long time, so this is perfect. I can get to relax after a weekend of just go, go, go. Oh my god, I feel like I still am going to be like that until after I get home from Nashville, honestly. I do have a few events throughout the week, so I'll take you guys along for that. For the most part, I definitely want to chill at home and prepare for my trip to Nashville, get a lot of editing done. I have so much computer work. I feel very, very overwhelmed. I have so many videos to edit and also like TikToks and so many ideas in my head, but it's just like I don't have the time to like actually execute them, so it's making me even more overwhelmed. But let's go relax. Let's go to the hotel proper get a little facial and we'll come home and crank out a bunch of work. Finding parking in Austin during South by is next to impossible, but I think we're about to get a spot. Just put me in the bathroom. Look how beautiful. You know it's legit when they have any soap products. <laughs> but they set me up with a locker, so I have to change into a room. I definitely fell asleep a few times and woke up because I felt myself snoring. But that's when you know it's a good facial. It is 4 p.m. and I don't know how the time got away from me. Like seriously, today's just been like the fastest day, which is nice, but also very overwhelming because I have so much to do that I'm like, holy crap, there's not enough hours in the day. So I've just been sitting on my computer answering a bunch of emails that I was not attending to over the weekend because I didn't really have time with South by Southwest. And I'm just like, I don't know how many times I can tell you guys I'm overwhelmed right now, but I am in the best way possible. Right now I'm gonna go over to Kano Chocol. I'm meeting a new friend. She's here for South by. She's a South Asian woman, so love that. And we're just gonna get drinks. Honestly, I'm kind of craving a Shirley Temple. It's so weird because I feel like this past weekend, even with all the events and like being social, I haven't really been drinking, which is kind of nice because I don't really get that hangover and like obviously less calories, although not sure if Shirley Temple's gonna be any less calories than like a tequila soda. Probably like way more just because of the sugar contents. But I think I'm gonna take Sophie with me because it's like an outdoor bar, it's so nice out. Sophie needs to get out and she probably also would like some human interaction other than myself. So let's go to kind of tropical. I'm back home. Unfortunately, my friend wasn't able to make it because her Uber was like taking so long and she like apparently started calling it at 4.35. We were supposed to meet at 5. And she was like, my ETA says 5.30. So, or no, 5.50. And I was like, oh shoot, I have people coming over and I have to clean my place. So I couldn't really wait any longer. Um, so that's kind of sad. I ended up getting a drink because I thought a pina colada would be good, but it was kind of like not that great. And I definitely regretted that decision not getting the Shirley Temple. I have a lot of cleaning to do before people come over because this is disastrous and it's embarrassing. So I actually love when I have people over because it makes me clean. But sometimes like if I'm rushed, I'll just like throw everything into like this little guest room, my filming room and just figure it out on another day. But I think I have about an hour or so. I have a lot still to do, um, a lot of stuff to edit and post and stuff. So ugh, very overwhelmed, but it's okay. We're gonna get it all done. Good morning, it is Tuesday and we are headed off to our first event of the day and I think only event of the day. So this week is kind of going a little bit slower but still very overwhelmed because I'm going to Nashville on Thursday. I feel like I've said this like a billion times but I haven't really started packing. I ordered a couple things online, it's starting to get here so I'm going to like try to do outfits in my head and like try to pack, do a little rough draft of packing. I'm also doing Fashion Pass and Rent the Runway Hopefully my fashion pass gets here in time and then my rent the runway, I miss the cutoff 
for it to get here before Thursday. So I sent it to Ryan's house. I think he's driving to Nashville on Thursday and hopefully it'll get there in time for him to like bring it up to Nashville. So I'll keep you guys updated on all of that. I've always wanted to do like a pack with me, but whenever it comes time to actually pack, I get so stressed out because half the time I think I'm like leaving something at home. And then the other half, I'm just like stressing about what goes with what and it's just not a very calm thing to film, but I'll try to vlog some of it for you guys. Today's event is for Bumble and it's like a little brunch at Hotel Cecilia. It's on South Congress and I've never been there. I've heard it's a really, really pretty venue. So I got a very cute outfit on to take some pics. Let me show you guys. I'm working with Princess Polly over on TikTok this month and I just got my package in. So my whole outfit is pretty much Princess Polly. I am obsessed with the shirt, although I broke one of the little buttons because I was like being super aggressive with it. I think I could just like easily like put a thread in it and sew it back up, like it still works. So not a big deal, but look how freaking cute the sleeves have little slits in them and flares and it's like this pinstripe texture i think it's just so pretty and dainty and then these jeans are also princess poly i just don't have enough like dark jeans because i love a light wash but now i'm like okay that's all i have so like how do i even choose between the jeans um but this is what they look like they're kind of flared and they have this like really cool hem or what is this called a stitching so it kind of goes slanted in, if you can see that. And then obviously my boots that I've been wearing so much, they're from Tacovas and they're so cute. Um, but I actually have to film a brand deal at HEB before I go. This collab is with Avino, which is so freaking cool. And they want me to go in store and shop it in store and like kind of show that through my video. I don't have anyone to film me, but I'm like hoping I can do it alone. So this shall be very interesting. I'll probably be really flustered and like embarrassed. So I'm thinking I definitely won't pick up this chunky camera and you know, call more attention to myself in my small HEB. I did it. I got really lucky because there was like an empty spot in one of these like holder things what are they called displays i guess and i just put my phone in there and filmed myself i just tried to get as many clips as i could because it's going to be like voiceover so the more content the better just got out of heb and i'm honestly so proud of myself because there was some people around and i got really intimidated at first like filming and then i was like you know what like people know that people do content creation so whatever and I filmed it and it actually looks really good and it makes me happy because sometimes I feel bad relying on anyone else or like asking anyone else for help I don't think I would ever like bring out a full-on tripod to like a store like this but I do have like little mini tripods travel tripods and stuff um, but I did get lucky like I said that there was like an opening to put my phone in it's 11 23 so perfect timing gonna get there at 11 32 hopefully I'll have time to like edit a few videos in the car and also maybe because it's early I will find a good parking spot let's manifest it I'm deciding if I want to bring this coat to the event or another coat it's like my leather oh my god shut up did i not bring it shut up no wait i literally thought i grabbed it shit well that's fine this this jacket's cute enough the other one just like fit me so well but it's okay maybe i'll save it for nashville so excited guys i'm gonna be seeing my best friends from college and like nashville's already a fun place so to be with your best friends is gonna be even like more iconic but i'm gonna head in it's 11 55 my stomach is actually grumbling speaking about grumbling stomachs this morning sophie woke me up with her grumbling stomach it was like sounding like there was something wrong so i was like okay you need to go out and then something really wasn't wrong so i woke up early for nothing like it could have slept in but honestly it's a good thing because i'm so overwhelmed and i had a lot of shit to do so it's fine hopefully they have some really good food i love south by because you get so much free food and honestly just like free things in general i'm here with amelia again we're, yes of course <laughs> and we're chowing down it's like amelia and we're starving so <laughs> and so they have little cute pop tarts this they had like a little um parfait yogurt bar look how so cute is. i love that idea so cute so 
we have a you come first tub with the Quinn headphones. Love. We found the secret charcuterie board. <laughs> and look how cute this place is. We just took some photos on the stairs and I'm obsessed. Look how cute this is. Oh my gosh. It's I really love it here. here like yes, I know. I agree. Especially when you're feeling like anxious at a party, music makes you sometimes and you're feel like, more you can anxious. only do this for so long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do an outfit of the day for TikTok. Back with Amelia. We're at another South by Southwest event. Thought we would do another OOTD. Wanna go first? Yeah. Oh, oh my god, god. Are we are in right now. Yeah. Wanna come join in? It is 2.57. I am so pooped. I want to go home. I want to take a nap. I want to crawl in a ball and probably not come out of my home in the next three to five business days. <laughs> I'm being dramatic a little bit, but I do need to take a break. Um, I have a grad session later tonight. We were supposed to have it in the morning, but there was a chance of rain, so I was like, let's just move it into the afternoon. So that is at six, and thank God for daylight savings and the time change. So now I have a lot more hours that I can actually create content. Um, so it's not as rushed feeling, I guess. Um, but I do probably have to leave by 5.30 and it's three right now. I'm gonna go into CVS, pick up a few items because I have another sponsorship to film. Um, there's just like a lot of things that I need to film before I go to Nashville. So just trying to get it all done. Um, but hopefully today or tonight I can relax a little bit. I'm hoping because I don't have an event tonight um, and then I have two events tomorrow so stay tuned I sat down for 30 minutes I think did a little bit of computer work and now I have a grad session I actually bumped it up because all of a sudden it's so overcast outside it was actually such a beautiful day this morning I'm so sad that I rescheduled because it said it was gonna rain earlier this morning and I was like you know what I don't want to deal with it let's just like reschedule in the afternoon and of course it's overcast but you guys saw like it was so pretty out today the sun was like beaming and the event was like perfect timing but yeah i'm sad but it's okay i feel like a lot of grad clients of mine are always asking like what happens if it's overcast what happens if it's cloudy and honestly it's great for photographers because that's when you get that really nice even light but i didn't want to shoot too close to like sunset because when it does get overcast like this, it can tend to get darker earlier, so I just bumped it up to five. I am dressed in my comfies. It is pretty cold out there, so let's go to UT. If you're a photographer, you need this little iPhone mount because I used to stop my shoot, take my iPhone clips, and obviously that would take time out of the shoot, but now I can record on my iPhone while I'm shooting. It even kind of turns, so you can have vertical or horizontal videos. I will link it on my Amazon store friend. Tilt your head, good. And big laughs. <laughs> good. Yes, tilt your head, tilt your head, good. Chin down, three, two, one, good. So cute, look away, look back, good. Perfect, I'm coming closer. I'm home, my body is aching, my back is hurting so bad, but I'm cooking myself dinner because I feel like I've been eating just out and stuff and I, I just want some comfort food. Obviously the house is a mess, so we'll get to that tomorrow, but tonight I'm cooking Penang curry, not from scratch guys. You already know I have my packet from H-E-B, so I just did red onion, peppers, chicken, and all this was like going bad, so I feel very accomplished eating it before it actually you know goes bad enough to where I can't eat it but tonight I'm watching The Bachelor it's a two night thing because tonight is the women's tell all and I think they're announcing The Bachelor at tonight Are you good with that? Yeah. <laughs> what? Is that a wrong answer? Oh my god. You think Bachelorette's the one? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I'm glad you said that. He gets charity. No. I want you to be our next Stop. Bachelorette. Is this for real? No yeah. way. No way. Is this for real right now? Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Is this totally real? Good morning, it is Wednesday and we are off to another event. Today's gonna be freaking crazy because it's already been like that. I 
was able to sleep in a little bit maybe i shouldn't have done that because i was rushing to film um another part of my sponsorship i just sent that all in so i feel good about that crossed one thing off my to-do list um but the apartment is an actual disaster like i am so embarrassed and i refuse to come back from my trip to a messy apartment so i have to clean the whole apartment tonight um i have to pack but i have two events today and the one at night I'll probably be drinking so I'm gonna try to pack before because I know once I come home I'm just not gonna want to pack but I don't know if I'll really have time but anyways we're gonna go to a Steve Madden event this morning at the domain and later tonight we are going to an event at Kitty Cohen's for I think it's like 101 media Austinites media I'm not really sure I'll I'll update you guys later um I'm wearing another top from Princess Polly it's very similar to yesterday's top and then just my Joe's jeans and I didn't really have time or energy to do my hair, so it's just natural. Do I look like a bald eagle? No, we look so <laughs> cute. I'm with Nancy, we're at the Domain, and we're about to go in for our Steve Madden appointment. And then we saw a sign for, I don't know how you pronounce it, is it a knee thing? A thing? <laughs> and I was I like, it was we have to do it for forever. But I, I think it's a knee thing. I think it is too, yeah. but we saw the sign and we were like, we have to go in there. And then we found out Steve Madden's like right by. So, so we are absolutely yeah, going in. Absolutely <laughs> going in. Like I'm like staring at them. <laughs> I know. It's so cute. It's very cute. Um, but we're gonna take some pics. Yes. And then head into our appointment. Yes. We're in the store and they told us we could pick out any shoe we want or so the world. Look at all the shoes. Yeah, there's like a lot to choose from. And I don't know what vibe I'm going for. Like, do I want summer heels? Do I want boots? Because I'm like, spring is here. We should probably get like some open toed shoes. Yeah. These cowboy boots. Like, I wanted black ones. So, do we do these? Do we do boots? I really like boots. But I'm like, it's gonna be summer. So, let's see what this. Let's see what we got over here. Cute. These are cute. This is like Lizzie McGuire, giving Lizzie McGuire. Very good. Wait. I really like these. Are they comfortable? Are they squishy? Feel it. I. Those are really nice. I don't have anything like that. Yeah, me neither. Oh, the brown ones. Oh my god, wait. Because I was wanting some brown ones. Wait, these are literally perfect. These are so These ones. I love this texture. Very cute. I was really looking at these, but apparently they don't have my size. I'm so sad about it. Um, and then also they don't have my size in the black boots and I really wanted black cowboy boots So now I'm thinking about these because I was actually eyeing these on Steve Madden for a while And I really need some black boots. So maybe we'll try those on and I don't know. We'll see about a summer sandal, too <laughs> We're so overwhelmed I feel like you'll wear these more I kind of think like you'll wear those every single day. Yeah, yeah I like this with material. Yeah, like they're like squishy. What's it called? Like not suede. Yeah, like rubber. Rubbery. No, but like not. Like not rubber. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna do these. These are so cute. And I like this color. Yeah, very cute. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do these. This looks really funky, but we found a pair that fit, and these are a size nine. And I've actually been eyeing these for a very long time. Well, brat stall shoes. Although we're going to the summer, so I feel stupid getting these. But I mean, I think we have like a good amount of them. Um, spring left tried the boots on <laughs> and like the outfit just like wasn't giving because obviously it's not you know an outfit that i would wear yeah. these boots with yeah so i'm gonna try on those brown sandals that i saw over there and see what they look like okay guys i kind of like these better and i already have black boots so like i don't need another one and it's spring and summer so i'm gonna wear these like every single day nancy and i are gonna get matching shoes <laughs> So excited. And then we're Perfect. gonna go to and not ending banging and matching matching or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Love. How cute are those? Comfortable in the back. So cute. Perfect. Guys, we saw so these cute. and we had to try them all. They're so cute. <laughs> I don't know if I love these. These match my, my slides to the same color. Oh, yes. That's cute. You need to tighten it though. Oh. Oh, it's good. Do it's I, need, I, see, I need to tighten it? Oh, wait, no, never mind. Oh, my God, it's tight. It's already really tight. <laughs> <laughs> I love this color. I'm gonna get it so dirty I, I, with my orange makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I always do. I have so many, all my hats are like light colored, so I always get them. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna take a picture and send it to Ryan and see what he gets. Well, he says. First. Yeah, yeah, he's my stylist. So. Yeah. Okay. 
That's, I mean, that's still really cute. I yeah. like the strappiness right here. I do. That's really well. pretty. Try it on this stunning button down. I'll put some pictures here. Where we're getting the matching hats. Guys, I pulled over for these because holy shit, look how stunning it goes on and on and on. For forever. For forever. Oh, it's blue so bonnet pretty. season. How gorge. I'm almost on the side of the road. I know. It is five o'clock. I was just doing a bunch of filming and other stuff for sponsorships that are due literally this week. I'm stressing for sure. Um, but here is my outfit for the last and final South by Southwest event, especially for me because I'm leaving tomorrow. But obviously there's going to be a whole other weekend with, I think it's more music stuff this weekend. So very sad. I'm going to be missing out because I got invited to something with Bose and Little Yachty and Cascade and Dead Mouse or whatever and I'm very sad I'm missing that but it's okay I'm gonna be with my college besties so I don't think anything could even compare to that but here is the fit I'm channeling Nashville but apparently the theme tonight is like retro cowboy and I feel like my outfit is really good for that theme so this is actually being rented on Fashion Pass which I guess I just got lucky with it being like shiny and retro I guess it's like I don't know if you can see that it's shiny and then I recently got this denim jacket actually for Nashville because I was scared of it being so cold um this is from Revolve it is actually a gold day I just posted a TikTok actually asking you guys which one I should keep and everyone's saying one so let's go with one I took the tags off this is from Meshki it's like a little razorback bodysuit and then of course we got the Tecovis boots so I think I'm gonna actually leave my camera at home for this one a lot of my friends are gonna come um, after the, like the VIP part so I don't know we might have a few drinks and I just don't want to bring my big camera for this because it's kind of a small space and I feel like it might be crowded I am stressing out because I haven't started packing for Nashville and my flight leaves at 9 50 a.m. tomorrow so tonight's definitely gonna be late night but we're gonna make the most of the event and have fun with our friends myself I had to be home by 8 it is 807 so go me my friends went out somewhere else and I was so sad that I couldn't go but I was like I literally need to pack I'm gonna be so mad at myself if I don't go home right now so I'm home and I need to eat something because I'm starving and then I'm gonna start packing I'll just like play YouTube in the back and get in the groove and just crank it out clean the apartment but look how freaking cute these braids are how fun are these little charms i'm actually going to take them off and save them for another time might even bring them to nashville because they're like like horse themed i think i had a cowboy hat on i think it fell off so i don't know where it was i don't know where it went but everyone loved my outfit it was so perfect because i actually rented this skirt on fashion pass i think i already told you guys like before knowing it was like a retro cowboy theme so it was kind of perfect and i'm gonna take my makeup off and get into my comfies and like I said just crank out the packing but we're only going to Nashville for like three four days so I mean I'm really gonna try to not overpack but you know me it's just not me to not be an overpacker so we'll see we'll see we'll try our best um but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog I'm gonna vlog in Nashville so get excited for that one subscribe if you are not already subscribed and you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok where I post a ton more it's so underscore gnarly without the g and I will see you guys in my next video bye